hi everyone uh, this video is about uh, uh, data table in react js so we will keep this data table okay we have can select the rows and select them okay we can filter the data based on the for example id and also name okay this is the sorter uh, sort functionality and also we can um, filter our records for example there is no record by this if we filter like this okay and in our okay so and also pagination yeah this is the pagination how many records per page you would like to display and this is the pagination right now we have just 10 records okay we use this api there here we have just 10 records so here we display just 10 records whenever we have more than 10 records so the pagination will be applied in that okay so it is a data table in react.js so let us get started before starting if you are new to my youtube channel please subscribe our youtube channel yeah to create this uh, data table in react.js so first of all let's come to the browser here uh, we will fetch data from this api json placeholder okay we will fetch our api from this api to display that in data table and uh, for the data table we will use this package npm package okay react data table component first we will install it npm install react data table component after installation so now let's start our coding i have installed that first i will declare the columns okay const columns is equal to will create an array here in the array i will write name the name of the column the first one would be the id okay these columns mean that uh, the header okay the data table header and the second name would be name okay we would like to display the name the third name would be email we would like to display the email and the, the fourth uh, column name would be city we would like to display the ctf user okay these four uh, values we will display them after column we will fetch the data so for that i will use a use effect hook in react js it will call whenever the program we start so it will call this function would be called okay in use effect hook i will call my api and i will uh, fetch the data from that so for that uh, let's create a function asynchronous function here we will fetch our data so we can use uh, simply fetch api also if we would like to use access so we can use access library also access dot get we will get our data from this api okay after getting the data we will get a result and let's display that on console what we are getting and if there was any error so display that on the console Uh, and the first thing is to import our react table data table from react data table but let's remove it from these curly braces So now let's run our server our react app we will let npm start it will start the server yes uh, that is running so let's move to the console yeah here let's come to the console in the console we oh we didn't call our app.js did we import that in index.js okay yes and also here so we didn't call this page api so let's call that here uh, 
let's see it now yeah that has refreshed and we see see this data we got okay from our um, the response is this okay so we will handle we will use this data okay data which are 10 records and let's assign this data to a variable so what we will get from this data first we will get the address is an object with us so we will get address dot city okay from address we will just get the city address dot city okay and also we will get the email and name uh, and the id we will get these things so let's come here we will create a variable first of all a state const records set records is equal to use state sorry use state we will use use state hook it is an array type with us so now whenever we get the data we should uh, assign the data to our records set records and we will assign the result that data after that let's come here so after that let's come here we will just use our data table and here we will assign the properties the first one is that the columns is equal to with columns I think we have this just column yes just column and the data is equal to with the records okay after assigning this so now let's add here um, to the column selector selector let's assign it it will give us a complete row okay so now we will use this row and we will get the data the id from that okay row dot id after that we will come to the name selector row row dot name so let's check uh, that okay we will get uh, first of all id uh, then we will get uh, uh, row dot uh, name okay so after that we will get the email where is the email website yeah email selector row row dot email and for the address we will write selector row, row dot uh, but here address is is another object with us so we will write like this okay dot uh, the city name address dot where is city name yes yeah, city we we'll write address dot city so now let's check it yeah let's come here see we got the data but uh, we didn't get our city name so for that uh, what address dot city so the problem is that we uh, have written this selector name wrong okay selector we should write like this okay let's refresh it now see we got our city names also okay make it a little bit change so let's make uh, I will add some design to this to help. So I added just this design. Okay, this styles for our background for this two. Okay, that gray color. Okay, and also parting from parting from left, right, and top. And I added uh, some styles to this data table. Okay, it's custom styles with custom styles. This is the custom style I wrote. Okay. For the head row, background color blue, color white, and head cells and the cells. Yeah, it looks like this. 
so after displaying these data so now let's add pagination okay so to add pagination we will just simply write here yeah pagination see the pagination has added how many rows you would like to display and right now we have just 10 records okay if we had more records so just by pressing this button we could handle them okay all of them so this is the pagination which has added so also if you would like to make these rows selectable so you can uh, add that but uh, before that let's make these uh, sortable okay so for that let's come to the columns okay here in the columns area we will just add simply sortable row by id and also let's make it by name by email just by name and id let's come here see now we can sort them see the data has sorted and also you can sort them by name let's back sorting by id so after sorting the functionality now let's add uh, um, for example to make these rows selectable we will come here to the data table and here we will add selectable selectable rows okay so now let's come back and see here the values are selectable now okay you can select the values and select back and select okay so now let's add a filter okay if you would like to add the filter so we will create a text box here whenever we are writing something so we should filter our data so on the top of our data table so let's create another div let's remove this and here we will add an input field let's add this search let's check it how it looks like see it looks like this <coughs> but we can move it to the left side so for that i will add some design so i added, added just this style to the input field and this style to the uh, div element okay so you can add your style in outer css files but i have added just to show you okay so it looks like this okay so now whenever we enter here something we should filter our records so for that we will add an event here to our input field and change and change event handle filter for example okay so let's create this function now so to create this function we will call it const handle filter is equal to we will get an event So here we will create a new variable new data or record is equal to so our previous data okay that we had so let's minimize it and also minimize it yes so our records that we had okay our previous record okay this records so we will write here records dot filter and we will filter row row dot name we will filter by name okay row dot name dot to lower case dot includes event dot target dot value dot to lower case and finally we will just um, call set records new data yeah or row dot name dot to lower case dot include so let's check it yeah come here and just we will write here for example in Nico C just ni it filter based on ni here is the ni that we have and also here we have the ni in our name so let's remove it so when we remove that we should get our data back uh, so for that problem we should declare a new variable here 
first we will store for example filter records and name it set filter records and now we will set them here okay in this area whenever we get the records so after so here we will set our filter records also set filter records we will assign result the data now we will use these filter records instead of records here now let's check it okay so let's filter it see back we need see okay everything is working no record Erwin, okay if you write something like this there is no records to display so it was all about the data table in react js um, i think everything has completed selectable rows and number of uh, rows per page and pagination uh, also filtration sort so i hope this video was helpful for you if you like this video please subscribe our youtube channel and thanks for watching